hello, hello, um, tune in, tune in. This is the Mastilla station about the mysterious court leader, Juggernaut J in 2K 2022. This video is um, a mimic, a skit from her delivered message on November the 8th, 2016. Those of y'all that follow me on the Angry Black Woman is Still Alive page, y'all can go. I am going to be sharing this message that she did, as well as this one that the Spirit has allowed me to come behind her and do on the page. And then I'll be showing this one on YouTube. Deliver it. She said, I got my backpack on. I got my backpack on because I'm a, I'm getting ready to jump on a flight. And um, I was having a conversation with someone and I was actually speaking about one of the greatest deliverance that I have ever experienced in my life. And do you know one of the greatest things you could ever do in life is being delivered from people? I died. Yeah, I really died. I died a long time ago. Hey, Monique, baby. Hey, Monique. I died. I would say about 15 years ago. And the death that I experienced was dying of myself. But I died when I got delivered from people. One of the greatest deliverance you can get in a, your entire life is being delivered from people. You have to do it. Because you allow people opinions and views of you to cripple your way, to cripple your very existence. This is what you will do. You will live for them and their opinions of you. This is Juggernaut J's segment of the message six years later. Pay attention, y'all. Pay attention to the things that's coming out of this lady's mouth. To the words that she was saying six years ago. So that you can compare them to the things and the words that she's saying today. I spoke and told somebody that I was going to do a, li a live from five or six years ago. And this is the one that the spirit has led me to. So I need y'all to pay attention. Because back then, as y'all can see, she was humble. Yeah, way back when. Yeah, way back then when she was humble, I say. This was before the money came. You lost and unlearned folks. She said she would live for their opinions and you pleasing them. Reason why she justifies everything to please the people that she say in the nation today. When all of you have to do is get to a place of I don't give a care or in some people would say, damn. To be damned means to be bound for life. And I refuse to be bound by people's opinions of me. And a lifestyle customary to the lifestyle they think I should live. The headache, something that has stuck in her head, y'all. She speaks about headaches for the longest. The headache, she said, that people get in life is being in a place where they are trying to impress people. I died from that. I got delivered from impressing people when I realized that as Will Smith said, has said, people buy houses and drive cars that they can't afford. They build houses they can't afford just to impress a bunch of people that they don't that they that don't even like them. Okay, okay. So my question is, right now to this day, from the live from Fagan, did these people that did all of this stuff trying to impress people that they still do today, did they have a job, Juggernaut? That's my question. Because we know Jamila gained wealth by sitting in a car. She wasn't even in a car when she did this live on November the 8th, 28, 2016. She was standing outside by a house. I would have been standing outside the house by do the skit, but it's cold outside. 
This is when the plotting began, y'all. This is when the plotting started. She is talking down on the very person that she has become today. I thank God for the revelation knowledge that he gave me to come to this particular live. Titled, Delivered. She says she done. She done doing the headache thing. She said it's half of America. It's the problem that half of America is having is trying to live a certain lifestyle. Trying to impress family members. I don't do that. She said, I don't do that. What you see is what you get. And if you don't get it, you ain't got to receive it. She said that the headache She said that the headache could cut down the stress of life. It can cut it down. It can cut it down. If you can just understand, I ain't got to impress a bunch of people. I ain't got to impress a bunch of folks. I'm done impressing my family. I'm done impressing my friends. I'm done trying to live this lifestyle, you know, of the rich and famous. You know I would rather live in a small apartment. Where I have money to help my family. The lies she told six years ago. Juggernaut J has always wanted. To live this fairy tale lifestyle. That she is living right now today. She said she'd rather help her people. She'd rather have money to help her family and her friends. To than to live in a big house that she cannot afford. She would rather have a lifestyle that is conclusive and pleasing God, not the G dash God that she's talking about now, six years later. I think she was really talking about God that's entwined with the Holy Trinity. I don't think she knew about the G dash D God when six years ago. I don't know. I might be lying. She said she'd rather. Have money to help her family and friends rather than trying to please a bunch of folks. She said, I ain't trying to be grand. I ain't trying to be grand. Wow, she said that. Listen. She said, I ain't trying to be grand. She said this six years ago, though. Remember now, because this in this time and age, we know she's trying to be grand. She said, I ain't trying to be grand. I am not trying to be grand. That's not who I am. I am just a simple girl. I am the type of girl who likes to lay in the grass, eat ice cream, act silly with the kids, whether they're my kids or somebody else's. You know, I am tired of people trying to impress folks. You know, I'm tired of the name dropping. You ever had a conversation with somebody? Jesus, this is her segment of the message. This is her segment of the message these days right now. Watch, watch this. She say, have you ever had a conversation with somebody? Everything they talk about. I'm talking about these name droppers. Is what they did. The name dropping. It's like, no, she said, the, you, you ever talk to these name droppers? It's who they know, where they been. It's what they did, the name dropping, like it's going to make you say, ooh, ooh, I'm not doing that. I'm only living this lifestyle to do one thing, and that's to please God. I'm living this lifestyle. She talking about the lifestyle she was living six years ago, y'all, when she was broke. I'm living this lifestyle to do one thing, and that's to please God. I'm living this lifestyle to please God. Other than pleasing God is to make my children, my household, a function where there is laughter. I am done. I'm not impressing people. If you want to cut your stress level down, get over people. 
Get delivered of people's opinions of you. Get delivered of what your family say. Get delivered from people putting their mouth on you. Who cares? I have gotten delivered from people a long time ago. If so many people want to be, be delivered from drugs and alcohol and all these wonderful things, but to be delivered from people is a quick fix to relieve your stress level. To get delivered from people, you know, I had a friend. I had a friend I used to work with at Burns Stearns years ago. And I used to um, work with this guy, Isaac. And Isaac would come to work every day with his old wingtip shoes taped up and masking tape. And the people would just laugh at Isaac all the time. And he would just come in there and he was just like 5'3". He was happy with his little big old stomach. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And the kids would laugh at him and say, Isaac, won't you just go get you some new shoes? And he would laugh. But one day, his portfolio came across my desk and he had millions. You know why? Because it wasn't about impressing people. It wasn't about the name brand. It wasn't about the Gucci. It wasn't about the Red Bottoms. It, it wasn't about the Louis Beontes. It wasn't about no bundles and how new they was and how good. It wasn't about the front laces. It wasn't about the lifestyle he lived. It wasn't about the lifestyle he lived. It wasn't about six years ago. Juggernaut J wasn't living the lifestyle she living now. She wasn't living the Bugetto lifestyle. She's losing the boot. She's using the living the Bugetto lifestyle now. It was simply about the hidden pleasures in life that he got that he could rest assured that, whoa, my inheritance is for my children. And my wife is happy. And I can pay my bills. But people get headaches every day. Trying to live a lifestyle that they cannot afford. They cannot afford. I say again. People get headaches every day. Right now in 2022. Trying to live a lifestyle that they cannot afford. Juggernaut J cannot afford the lifestyle that she lives right now in 2022. This is why she gets the lost and unlearned to sponsor her lifestyle by telling them to sow on a certain seed daily. These people, God has told me to tell y'all, are not sheep. They are not flocks of a shepherd. They are mere supporters. They are Juggernaut J's, Jamila Gooden, Lady Gooden, the Reborn Bunny and Clyde. They are her supporters. Okay, let me continue on with this message. She say she not doing it. She going to give y'all a surprise. And it's about to knock y'all socks off. She say people be like, Jamila, you always dress nice. You know where, you know where I shop? At the thrift store. I do. I shop wherever I feel like it. You know why? Because I'm not trying to impress people. I do what I want to do. Because I am not trying to impress people. I got one store in Atlanta. That I love. I am in love with that place. And it's Ross. People be like you don't go to Neiman Marcus. Why? Why? I don't have to impress people. I am free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. One thing about the spirit of the Lord is, he will make you confide and make you comfortable with who you are until you realize you know what it is not about that. It's about the character and the disposition of a person. It's about how you treat other people. But I do not live to impress people. I am not living to impress my family. I love them. I am not living to impress my friends. 
I love them. I am living my lifestyle that God will be pleased with me. And men need to just get over it. I had this conversation this morning with Calvin about people, how they live every day stressed out, having headaches. They, they, they buy cars they can't afford. They, 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 they live in houses they can't even afford to pay the mortgage on. Instead of saying, you know what? I'm going to downsize. I'm going to go get something smaller. I'm going to save some money so that you can live and go on vacation. Get over it, people. Get over other people's opinions and what they think you should do. This right here, what I'm finna say next is about to blow y'all mind. So make sure y'all get this. She said, if you think I should have it, then buy it. She said, I'm tired of people and their opinions about what they think I should have. She said, get over people's opinions and what they think you should have. She said, if you think I should have it, then you just need to buy it. But since we are not living that lifestyle, me and my family, let's live a life that is going to please God. We all know that the CCM court members do just what she commanded them to do way six years ago. They buy Jamila. And this message was before the Car Chronicles movement was even thought about. It was before they even sat around the round table and decided to get monetary um, money off of this Car Chronicles stuff. It was before Car Chronicles was even invented. She said, a modest life is nice. If you got the luxuries and you can live on that, good. But I hope you can help somebody else too. So guess what? I died. And when I woke up, I was happy. I was whole because I realized living this life is more than just stuff. It's about pleasing God and making sure your family and friends are happy and find happiness. I am going to find it and I am going to keep it. And how do you do that? You get over people. Do it. It's the best deliverance you could ever do in your life. Now, let me get back on this flight. She was humble when she did not have. She became brassy once she started receiving the money. Things definitely started to change drastically. On here, there are a few key ideas that I want to enlighten everyone that sees this video. This one. It is the mimic, comical, hilarious, funny video from Jamila, which was, she was young Mitchell at the time. She's Jamila Good now. This video that I'm doing is titled Delivered. When she says she got delivered from people's opinions and delivered from people um, trying to impress people. November the 8th, 2016. Y'all can go back and look at it. God led me to do this live. I was on the phone with two people. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go back and I'm going to do an old live when she was humble. Since God got me mimicking her and doing it so well, even with the fake tongues and all of that, the spirit spoke to me clearly and said, you have to bring it back. I started back then. Like I said, this was be November the 8th, 2017. 2016, this was before she even got in the car. I started following in 20, February of 2017. So this was a couple of months before I even started following it. This was before she got in the car. This is why this is important. She said she got delivered from people. She got delivered from impressing people. She didn't, she didn't worry about living that lifestyle. But we know today that she lied. So I'm coming to tell y'all. These are the key ideas and points that I want to enlighten everyone to see from this live that I did. She was humble. 
She never mentioned she was a pastor. She never mentioned that she was a prophet. She spoke in not one tongue. Again, I say she was humble because she was broke. She spoke against the very lifestyle that she lives now. She said, dearly, if you want me to have it, she said clearly to the people that if you want me to have it, then you buy it. Bam. She deceived and manipulated folks from all over the world to support what she said died in her a long time ago from impressing people with materialistic things. I am Roshana Johnson. I am the mouthpiece of the Angry Black Woman is Still Alive page. I am the person on the YouTubes that's mimicking Jamila comically, hilarious, funny, but it's the truth. God has given me an assignment. I don't care what nobody say. This assignment is for me. <laughs> this assignment is for me, meaning it's for me to do it. But it's to help get the lost and unlearned people released, redirected, and rescued back to the Holy Trinity. Because following this mess, CCM, UCC, UCI, because UCC was it when I was in it. And I'm going to forever say UCC. It's not of God. Jamila got in her car. This was before she got in the car, y'all. This was She was preparing herself. She was getting herself ready to receive the lifestyle. But she let y'all know, if you feel that I need these things, then you buy it. And then she got in the car a couple of months after that in 2017 because that's when she actually got in the car. And she got up there and said that God had called her to speak to a nation. She said she was a self-ordained pastor. She said that um, God told her to get in a car at a specific time, 730 Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, and the prophetic with a prophetic word because that's when the, uh, it was going to, the prophetic, see, the prophecy was going to fall. Manifested evidence was going to be seen. She used to tell people follow her as she followed Christ. She used to say, cakes and pies, cakes and pies, cakes and pies. Beep, beep to my little beep, beep. Get on here with my coffee, teas, and me. Who gonna check me, boo? She used to do all of that. I was a part of it. I'm here to say this. All I want y'all to do is just go look. I'm not trying to persuade nobody. I'm not trying to manipulate nobody. I'm not trying to deceive nobody with no deception. I'm not sending nobody to no lies. I'm concerned about the souls. Whereas Jamila is concerned about the coins. I get up here until I take my last breath to continue to tell my truths, my stories with being affiliated with UCC, Unity Church Charlotte, CCM, Car Chronicles Movement, the leader, Jamila Young Mitchell, when I met her, now Jamila Gooden. I will continue to tell my truths because like I said, I prayed and asked God to be front and center with something that I was unfamiliar with. I never seen the speaking in tongues. I never seen the laying of hands. I grew up Baptist. The mothers of old and the women that prayer warriors was in there, they didn't have to actually run over there and push nobody down and, and get in their ear and all of that. They prayed from afar. And we was able to see the manifestation of it, the manifested evidence. So once I pushed the button on, um, I'm focused, man, I'm focused. That's the one I pushed. I'm focused, man. So that was at the beginning of 2017. Like I said, February of 2017 is when I started following it. When I pushed the button, I didn't start click tagging and sharing to 
later on in 2017. I met her in 2018, July the 20th, 2018 to be exact. Jamila has secret motives and hidden agendas. She seen the many and many gifts that God has given me, gave me. She got in my ear about moving. And I, like I said, I, I, I'm, I was just like the people that's following me. I was there, but God, God had to deliver me. Just like he gonna have to deliver y'all. I can get up here and run my mouth and say and tell the truth and speak my stories and show y'all proof and show y'all the evidence and show y'all the receipts and show y'all all of that. But it ain't gonna mean nothing until God touch your heart to say that this woman is not lying. God have to deliver each and every person from it. My, my story is I prayed and asked God to be front and center. So he answered my prayers. I can't speak about what nobody else's prayers is. I don't know how y'all got affiliated with it. I don't know how y'all got in cahoots with it. I just know how I did. So all of this was purpose. Planned and prepared by God from the time I pushed that button and she was on there. I'm focused, man. I'm focused. I'm focused, man. I'm focused. I'm focused. I guess I was trying to get focused at that time. Me and my significant other, we was traveling. He was working. We was traveling. I will never, 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 never try to turn nobody against nobody. But the Bible speaks about exposing darkness and being no parts of unfruitful works. I was a part of it. Jamila tried to defame my name publicly on the social media. Two days after I did a whole conference, something I ain't never did. You know that had to been going. Did a conference. We ain't did no meeting. We ain't did nothing. We ain't did no rehearsals. We ain't did nothing. I talked to everybody. I put a conference together through the phone and these is my truths. We ain't did not one rehearsal. I talked to everybody that was a part of that conference. I talked to them through the phone for six months preparing it. The day before we supposed to have rehearsal, we didn't have no rehearsal. But on that day, August the 16th, 2019, everybody came there and did what they were supposed to do. Even Jamila. But she got convicted because I had already set the atmosphere. This was a God-given assignment. But I didn't know what it was for. But it was for God to reveal, not only to me, to everybody, the 300 plus people that was in the building, that Jamila is a false prophet. She don't prophesy, she prophet lie. She don't have no testimony, she got test of lies. Jamila came there. The Bible speaks about rebuking the enemy and they will flee. That's why Jamila and them ran out of the conference. They didn't walk. They walked in and ran out. Leaving three Louis Vuitton purses on the stage right by that backdrop of her mama. Leaving her mama Bible that she never touched when she came in my building. Into that venue that she came to do my conference, I mean, because it wasn't my building. It's a venue I rented. She never touched the Bible. She ran out of there. They ran out of there. Her, Deliria, and Dylan, they ran out of there, and, and God know I'm speaking the truth. She say her team told her to get out. If your team had told you to get out, they should have prepared y'all. Y'all shouldn't have never brought no purses in there. You shouldn't have never brought no Bible in there because you never came in there with, you never said anything out the Bible. You came in there with two pieces of paper. You handed them to a couple of people. You say, God gave you an assignment, and you had to do it. You say, God told you to give these, these people two pieces of paper and they were supposed to write on the front what they label was. And I'm going to do it right here. She said, write on the front what your label is. Write on the back what your label is. I'm going to give y'all two papers. This is a Simon Goy gave me. She handed by seven people two pieces of paper. She said, um, the assignment is to write what your label is on the front, what your label is, and write what they call you on the back. She said, I'm going to go first. She got up there and she said, I'm a pastor 
on the front and on the back, I'm labeled as a hoe. She said, what you is? You a prostitute? You was a drug addict? You retorted? You this? That's how she came into the armor of God. Ain't no stopping us now conference. Why? I don't know. I know God did not give her no assignment like that. So I'm saying this to say, she said she was a pastor on the front and a hoe on the back. Now that's what Jamila said. And if I'm lying, I need somebody to say, like I say, find the lie because it ain't none. The lies is coming from the other end, not over here. I just thank God for the deliverance. I pray each and every day. I do this for free because it's an assignment from God. I'm not asking nobody to do a like, so a share to save a soul in helps of saving a soul because we can't save them. But we are to go out into the world and spread the gospel to all creations in hopes that they will get it so that they can be led to God and not led astray from God so that he can release them, so that he can redirect them, and so that he can rescue them. Because so many people's salvation is at stake following this demonic mess. The don't judge me live I did yesterday is because that's the first thing God spoke to me. She was trying to justify. Yeah, I got tattoos, but don't judge me. Jamila, and I'm going to get in here. We have a lot of things to judge you on. Not just one. It's too many different things that you done did wrong to be judged on. But the Bible says, do not judge. Do not judge. Can't nobody judge us but God. I pray that Jamila not only hear God, not only listen to God, but repent and obey God. Starting off by Keeping it real with yourself and letting the people know what they are part of. Secondly, letting go of God's people. Let these people go from the soul ties of your court organization. You speak about being bound. Them people is bound to you. They are in bondage. They can't be set free until you let them go so they can get to know God for themselves. Quit asking people for money every day. Quit lying, saying that God gave you a functional way to read the Bible. Quit lying when you speaking in fake tongues, saying that you having a, a, a conversation with God and people not going to understand it. You don't understand it either. God allowed me to start saying the devil is dead because I defeated my Goliath, which was you, Jamila. On August the 16th, 2019, that was my David experience. I got the victory. I'm not mad. I'm not sad. And this is not retaliation. This is an assignment from God. 